Today we're going to be talking about simplifying radical expressions. And what you can do when you simplify a radical expression is you can combine two different radicals as long as the index or the root that you're taking is the same. You can combine those radicals under one radical. Meaning when we have the square root of 2 times the square root of 8, I can multiply those together under one radical and get 16 and simplify that to 4. And same thing with any of our roots, as long as those roots are the same. So our first example is similar to what we did in the previous lesson. Just here, we're going to have something left over underneath the radical. So square root, let's break this down, 25 is 5 squared. I need to break this down into powers of 2 because our root is 2. So a to the fourth, a squared, squared. Now b to the ninth, that's not even, so it doesn't break down evenly into a perfect two power. But b to the ninth can be broken down into b to the fourth squared. Say b to the fourth squared, that gets me b to the eighth. I have b to the ninth underneath my radical, so I have a b left over. So this then I can pull out the five, I pull out the a squared, and I can pull out the b to the fourth. Now I've taken care of this term, I've taken care of this term, I've taken care of this term. I have a b here left over underneath my radical, so that stays inside the radical. Simplifying something to the third root, very similar, like we were doing in the last lesson. Put everything to the third power. So 125 is 5 to the third power. m to the 30th, I need to put this to the third power, but these need to multiply to be 30, and there is a perfect number, 10, <coughs> 10 that multiplies to be 30. Now p to the 20th. Okay, think about it this way. 3 goes into 20 six times. So what I have there is p to the 18th. What's left over? p squared. Because I would have p to the 18th here with this term. I need to get to p to the 20th, so 18 plus 2 would get me to 20. Now simplify this out. 5 to the third, that just comes out in as 5. The root 3 and this 3 cancel, so I'm left with m to the 10th. p to the 6th and to the 3rd, that simplifies to p to the 6th. And I'm left over with that cube root, don't forget that cube root, of p squared. So in this example, we need to simplify where we have two radicals where we're going to be multiplying them together. So take the 5 and just leave that outside. And now we're looking at the cube root of a few things. 100 times 10 is 1,000. Then I have an a squared times an a. That's going to get me a to the third power. Now write each one of these to the third power. So 1,000 becomes 10 to the third. A cubed is A cubed, or A to the third power. So then we have 5. This 10 cubed can break out of our radical and just become a 10. The A cubed can break out of the radical and just become an A. So that simplifies to 50A. In this example, we have to multiply our radicals together. And in order to multiply the radicals together, this index needs to be the same. So I have four for each of them. Anything that's outside the radical, you can just multiply that like we normally do. Now we have a fourth root of a bunch of stuff inside. 
multiply each of the common things together. So the 8 times the 2 can become a 16. Multiply together the x to the 5th, x to the 4th, that becomes x to the 9th. And the y to the 3rd and the y to the 3rd, we add the exponents. Same base, when you're multiplying, you could add the exponents. So we get that. Now write everything to the fourth power, or sometimes I like to break it down into powers of four. 16 can be broken down into two times two times two times two, or we can look at that as two to the fourth power, because the four and the four are gonna need to cancel. Now the x to the ninth, break this down into powers of four. So x to the fourth times by x to the fourth times by another x. Because when I add those exponents, four plus four plus one has to equal nine. So really here I have, actually let's just leave it like that, I lied. We're not gonna do like I really have. Actually, let's just erase all that down there. I'm sorry if you wrote that down. And now let's look at our y to the 6th. y to the 6th, write it as powers of 4. So y to the 4th times by y squared, because when I add the 4 and the 2, they're going to add up to be 6. I picked 4 because my index was 4. Now, like I was saying, this is really 2 to the 4th. So that 2 can be pulled out of our radical and just become a regular old 2. The x's. I have 2x to the 4th. So when I multiply those outside, that's really x squared. Underneath my radical, I have this x to the first left over because I can only pull out up to my radical number or my index, I should say. y to the fourth can be pulled out and become just regular old y. I have a y squared still left over underneath my radical. There's one thing that a lot of people forget. Remember when the index is even, and you simplify to an odd power, we're going to need to put absolute value signs over that y. So our final answer would be 6 times 2, which is 12. x squared, the absolute value of y, even root, simplifying to an odd exponent, times the fourth root of x, y squared. And that ends up being our final answer. Okay, our next example. These radicals all need to be the same number underneath the radical in order to combine them. So the first one, the biggest perfect square that goes into 45 is 9 times 5. Now for 80, when we simplify 80, we have 16 times 5. When we simplify 20, we would have 4 times 5. Now the 9 can pull out and become a 3. So I would have 3 times 3, that's 9, root 5, minus 16 would come out and be a 2, would come out and be a 4, I apologize, a 4. 4 times 5 is 20, root 5. 4 would be a 2 when I pull it out. 2 times 4 is an 8, root 5. Now combining like terms, remember your radicals need to be the same thing if you want to combine them. So those radicals are all the same thing. So I would simplify that to be equal to negative 3 root 5. 
There are your lesson questions. I have some multiple choice lesson questions for you today. Please make sure those lesson questions are submitted on time.